Welcome back to Good Morning Maine. I'm here with Neil Cummins. He's an astronomer and astrophysicist for the University of Maine. He's the author of 21 published astronomy trade and textbooks. His trade book, What If the Moon Didn't Exist, has been made into a planetarium and theater show and was the theme to Mitsubishi's pavilion at the 2005 World Expo Aichi at Nagayoa, Nago Nagasaki. Nagasaki in Japan and he's taught at the University of Maine since 1978. Neil, thank you for joining us today. My pleasure, thank you for having me. Of course, and you're here to talk about the solar system origins, when and where the solar system came from program that's going on today at 3 p.m. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? It's both sure. in person and virtual, so yeah, go, go, go ahead and explain it a bit. Sure, if you think about everything that there is in the world, you just look at something, it didn't exist. None of this stuff, nothing existed at the beginning of time. And so the question that I'm exploring is, where did we all come from? Yeah. How did we get here? Yeah. And, and so I'm going to, in, <laughs> in a one hour talk, yep. start literally at the beginning of time and take us through the last 13, 0.7 billion years <laughs> in one hour in one hour <laughs> in one hour and come out the other end which is here we are cool so you know the, all of the atoms in our bodies all of the radiation the radio the television waves yeah. didn't exist none of that stuff it had to it, it came later and in different stages. And so that's what I'm going to be exploring. That's an impressive feat for one hour. <laughs> Normally we see, I mean, you're a professor, so you're used to staging out discussions like this over a, a semester. Correct. How did, you put it to, how did you push it all together for one hour? It was a very interesting experience. One of the things I do when I prepare, and I prepared this yesterday, by the way. <laughs> the well, best preparers are the last minute ones. <laughs> I guess, well, thank you, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> hey, I am too, so I'm just biased. <laughs> Well, one of the things I do when I prepare uh, anything is that half of my mind is sitting in the seat of the person listening. Yep. And so what I do as I write a, a talk like this is put myself there and, and, and talk to the person that is going to be listening to make sure that what I say is sufficiently clear in a sufficiently short amount of time so that in the end the pieces will come together yeah rather than fall apart right right and i mean it, it is meant for kind of the average person oh, right absolutely this absolutely. is meant for anybody to be able to stop coming and listen to cool that's exactly you know what it's all about so this is going to be at the wilson center in castine which is at 120 perkins street but it's also online so it says here um, you can receive a Zoom link, just do it in advance, give them some time to prepare, and you can email Haley at, um, it's education at wilsonmuseum.org, and we'll have that link on our website. But, um, Neil, can you talk about, I mean, what was this 2005 World Expo in Japan? What, what, what part sure. did you have to play there? Back, back in the day, we had something called the World's Fair. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, I remember the 1964 World's Fair in New York City. I used to go to that, uh, sit in a Mustang, brand new Mustang. Yep. And uh, drive around, uh, ride around the Ford Pavilion. Well, anyways, in 2005, they had an, uh, an event. They call it now a World Expo instead of World Fair. Mm -hmm. And Mitsubishi approached me and asked if they could use What If the Moon Didn't Exist yeah. as the theme. Each country and company at a World Expo has a theme in their pavilion. Cool. And Mitsubishi's theme was, what if the moon didn't exist by me? Awesome. And, uh, and so I helped create uh, a show. It was a, a total immersion uh, theater show cool. with screens on all sides. Yep. So you felt like you were inside of these things. And it went for one year, which is the normal and then it was bought by a, a resort in southern Japan, mm -hmm. House Tambosh, House in the Forest. And um, for 17 more years, that show played every day. Wow. Every day? Every day. For 17 years. Yes. Wow. So it was beloved. Yes. And, and the company, the production company that uh, worked with me on doing this said, told me that that was the longest running uh, show they've ever had. So awesome. 
it was very it was very exciting. Awesome. And you live right locally and you've been doing this work all over the world. Yes. Well, thank you, Neil, very much for coming in. His show, um, the, the talk is at 3 p.m. tonight, so we'll have the information to attend that in person or virtually on our website. So thank you again, Neil. My pleasure. Thank you. Of course. We'll send it over to Devin Biggs for our full weather forecast.